back a million years ago when I used to play high school football, my head coach would tell us all the world ends on Friday night. And just think about what you have to do between now and Friday night because nothing matters after that. The Texas Rangers need to be thinking like that right now as it relates to this Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Houston Astros are in town. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about our playoff odds. We're going to talk about the pitching matchups. We're going to talk about the giveaways. And more next here on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bates, the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. We're talking about the world ending this Wednesday, about 4.30 or 5 o'clock depending on what the heck happens with my Texas Rangers and maybe your Houston Astros. The Rangers are currently 53 and 59, five and a half games behind Seattle. Seattle doesn't want this division. The Astros don't want this division. I wish the Rangers wanted this division. 6% playoff chances, according to fan graphs. It was up over 20% just a week, week and a half ago. 14% loss because that, you know, score some runs, score some runs, score some runs. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Astros series, as I've already mentioned, Andrew Haney is on the mound for us today, Monday, and we don't even know who's pitching Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, I think we do, actually, but it hasn't been announced. Let's talk about Houston real fast. Who's pitching for them on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? Monday, it's Hunter Brown, him with a 4.11 ERA He's really, really good, and he's really, really bad. He's had one of the starters worst starts in the history of baseball this year, and since then, he's been pretty dang good. The stats are 4.11 ERA on the season for Hunter Brown and 4.12 ERA for Haney, so what are you going to get? We'll find out together. Tuesday, Framber Valdez, I really can't stand that guy. He's really good. His ERA this year, 3.56. He's having a really good year, and I would rather him not. This is going to be a tough matchup, no matter who our pitcher is, and we'll get to that in a minute. And then Wednesday for them, Kikuchi, who I was pretty loud about on Twitter, on my YouTube. I was excited the Astros made this trade. Why? They gave up a lot. They gave up a whole lot. And they're renting him for this year. But more than that, he's bad. Or is he? Five and a third innings pitched last week, or his last start. Two earned runs. Struck out 11. All of a sudden, he's great again. I have no idea. Why do I have a YouTube channel where I talk baseball if I know nothing about baseball? I thought Kikuchi was horrible because... He was, and then all of a sudden he isn't. Today, we talked about Haney's pitching for us. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it's probably Tyler Maley. Tyler Maley's already been announced by Bochi as a likely starter in the Houston series. Haney's today, and we got Tuesday and Wednesday left. I think he's going tomorrow, which would mean Wednesday we get either Urena or Dunning. I think it's clear that between Tuesday and Wednesday, Maley, Urena, and Dunning pitch all three of them between those two games. I think Maley goes on Tuesday. And if he goes a couple innings, then Urena goes Wednesday. And we have Dunning in reserve. If Maley goes an inning or two and we need help, Urena or Dunning could come in on Tuesday. So again, I think we should just look at Haney as today. And then between Tuesday and Wednesday, it's Maley, Urena, and Dunning starting for us. Bullpen, bullpen, bullpen. So it's going to be an interesting pitching matchup week. Theirs is more set in stone. Ours is more Gray's on the IL. We traded Lorenzo and Scherzer's on the IL. DeGrom's not back. Hey, who's this Maley guy? So we'll see how that goes. If you're going out to the stadium tonight, you can get a picture with the trophy if you haven't already. We only got two more months to do it. So get your picture with the trophy. I think it's only the first like 150 or 250 people. So if you want this, you need to get there early. But that'll be there tonight. Tuesday, UNT Cap Night. University of North Texas. You need a theme ticket for that. And then Wednesday, day game, dollar hot dog day. And yes, it's an Evan Carter pin day. Again, you need a special ticket for that. So photo is free. You got to get there early. Tuesday, you get the cap, but you need the special ticket. Wednesday, hot dog day and the Evan Carter pin. Does that make sense? I hope that does. Go out there and have a good time. Have some fun at the ballpark. This is the most important series of the year. It is. If we get swept, I think the season is probably over. If we sweep them, the ALS is in heap big trouble. We coming at them. Most likely outcome will be two out of three for us or them. And I'll still be unclear of what the heck is happening this year. How about you comment below biggest series since we were in the play biggest series of the year, right? It's the biggest series of the year. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not Haney Maley. He was a top 30 pitcher in all of baseball couple years ago. So this could be a great pickup for us, but we'll see what we have here. And then Urena Dunning, who knows? They're both real good, but <sighs> I'm frustrated. And you know what? Let's be real. Here I am at the end of the video and I haven't even talked about it. It's the offense. 
We got three hit. I did, did I see that we got three hit? The Mariners got three hit and the Astros all got three hit all yesterday? What? Josh Young is back. Wyatt Langford has played as much baseball this year as he has in any like any of his years ever. So I don't know what we're going to have with him the rest of the year. But if Young can hit, if Doley can get going in, he's, his hard hit ball stats have been really good lately. If we can get Langford out of Langford, right? Jonah looks better, and I suspect he'll be better now offensively. He's always great defensively because we've got Kelly. So Jonah will be starting four games a week where Kelly's been will be starting two. Nate's been doing good. Simeon's hitting the ball hard. Corey Seager's freaking the best hitter on the planet. We could still do this, but we can't do it with three hits a night. We can't do it with three runs a night. We need our offense. The pitching is a little shaky, but I believe down the stretch it's going to get better. Maybe I'm just clueless. Maybe I am just totally blind to the truth that is in front of me and that we're just a 500 if that team. Let me know what you think in the comments. I still think we got a chance at this. I still think we might win the AL West, but I'll tell you, a week ago I was saying I thought we'd win the AL West. The offenses have looked bad and I'm frustrated. I might be out there tonight. The ticket is for sale as we speak. If I can't sell a little bit, I'm going to go. <laughs> and then I'll be there Wednesday and I think I'm selling my Tuesday ticket too. So you can check that out on my Twitter if you want. At Rangers fan Jeff, I'm going to shut up now. Go Rangers. Maybe see you at the ballpark. Stop what you're doing. Subscribe to my channel. It's free today and every day for the rest of forever. Thank you for doing that if you have already. If you haven't already, come on, you stayed all the way to the end of the video. Hit subscribe. It would make me smile. You know what else would make me smile? Some runs and some wins. Let's go, Rangers.